Welcome back to the University Report. I'm Rebecca Bartlemy. I'm joined here with Joe Sigworth, the president of the UW Platteville student body. Welcome to our show, Joe. Thanks for having me today. So what is your position and what does it entail here on campus? Yeah, absolutely. I'm the student body president here at UW Platteville. And what that means is uh, I have a lot of responsibilities as far as representing the students of UW Platteville. And that's on a state, local level, even to uh, just the chancellor on a regular day to day basis. Um, as well as across the nation into the uh, UW system. Uh, the other part of my job is that I'm in charge of or I chair the Student Senate, which is the largest and uh, most representative student governance association on the campus. Okay, what types of things would Student Senate be involved with on campus? Yeah, uh, Student Senate is involved with pretty much everything from A to Z on campus here. Uh, our official duties are uh, quite boring sounding actually. We're here to uh, review and recommend policy governing student life. Um, like I said, sounds pretty boring, but what that covers is everything from academic affairs. One of the big projects we've been working on all year is to uh, change the academic advising policy. Academic advising is the number one connection between us as students and our degrees. So making sure that all of our uh, academic advisors are competent and have uh, all the knowledge necessary in our coursework to get us graduated in, in four years that's what we're doing, putting in that, that baseline standard. Um, so academics, we actually govern all of the student organizations, so any engagement that you have here on campus, like the radio or the television station, we actually are in charge of governing that. We have a diversity and inclusivity committee that handles a lot of things. We have a, a women's wellness conference coming up here in April that I'm incredibly excited about. The keynote speaker, I've seen her before, and she is fantastic. So bringing in a lot of uh, programming, a lot of uh, review, uh, making sure that student life here is as best as we can okay, make it. Sounds mm -hmm. like you guys are very busy. Absolutely. <laughs> um, do, you talk, do you talk about these things in your meetings, and could you tell us what the meetings are like here? Yeah, yeah. Um, most of our meetings are, are working on student issues. Uh, we start every meeting off, actually, with uh, something called petitions and requests from the UW Platteville student body. And that's where any student can come into our meeting and bring up a, a problem that they have on campus or an issue or something they'd like to see fixed. Um, and we, we talk about that and we'll work on that throughout the year. Normally the senators are in charge of making sure they can get those changes made. And then uh, we have all sorts of things um, from guest speakers uh, every once in a while. Uh, the chancellor will come down and give a budget report. Um, or we will work on our own projects that we're working on. I've already mentioned academic advising. Uh, we approve student organizations at our meetings, so all sorts of stuff across the gamut. Okay, are there any other types of things that you cover over meetings? Yeah, um, well we're working on, uh, right now one of the big things has been the budget, uh, and obviously that's, that's a big issue for all of campus. Uh, we just finished uh, with the uw Platteville Student Budget Committee just a few weeks ago, and we had to make recommendations on all of the budget items that are looking at being cut. We had to make recommendations directly to the chancellor. So a lot of students put in a lot of long hours and hard work. Um, there was a survey that went out to all of the students and we got some really good responses and actually some really good revenue generation ideas from students as well. Um, so we've been working on the budget quite a bit um, and anything else that comes up on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. So you did say that the budget is probably the biggest thing that's going on this semester. Mm -hmm. um, are there, how are these decisions affecting um, students here on campus? Yeah, it, I, I think it affects all of us. Um, when you're looking at a budget cut, the last one that we just finished here was about five million dollars just to handle our own structural deficit. Um, and with the state budget that's coming down, we could be looking at another four to five million dollars in cuts. Um, and without getting too boring or technical with all the numbers, um, I have to say that uh, at this point, there's no small changes. Um, it's going to be a lot of big changes now and, and stuff that's most likely going to hurt. And uh, it's going to be some tough decisions. And that's not just for Student Senate, but that's for faculty, staff, administration, all across campus, and the UW system. Okay, so for Student Senate, how could somebody become a member of it? Yeah, if, if you're looking to get involved, now is the perfect time to do it because all campus elections are coming up uh, April 8th through the 10th. Um, now the first deadline for being on the ballot has actually passed already, but you can still be a write-in candidate. So if you're looking at being a senator, an executive board member, and there's actually even positions open still, you could run for president, or my job, or vice president actually as well. And all you have to do is fill out, there's a nomination packet you can pick up in the Involvement Center. You just got to let us know your name, your GPA, your, your major, and then have 25 people write your name correctly on the ballot in the write-in spot. Um, so that's, that's an opportunity that I would recommend for anyone who's 
stay interested in the budget or is just looking to get a little bit more involved on campus. Okay, and what can um, you expect once you become a member of Student Senate? Yeah, um, I would tell you that uh, in the three years I've been on student governance, uh, you can expect a lot. You can expect a lot of learning experiences. Uh, we actually have trainings for our senators at the end of every meeting. Uh, so there's plenty of chance for you to learn the things that you don't know about politics, about governance, and just about this campus. Um, but there's also a, a lot of different things. Uh, in the three years that I've been on, I've been able to make connections not only with student reps and the people across the state who are doing governance, but um, I have friends from Georgia, uh, Virginia, Connecticut, California, uh, other student leaders just like myself who are dealing with the same issues, and I can contact them and see how things are going down in, in Georgia. And it's always fantastic. Those connections will serve me throughout the rest of my life. Wow, it sounds like a great experience. It really is. Um, are there anything else you'd like to add about Student Senate? Well, uh, like I said, elections are still happening April uh, 8th through the 10th, so if you're interested, you can just stop down in the Involvement Center and pick up a ballot. Um, I would recommend it's one of the best experiences I've had here at UW Platteville. Um, but yeah, um, I would say get involved. Make sure that you're staying aware of what's going on with the budget. Um, it does really and truly affect all of us. So uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, email me back when I send out those all campus <laughs> emails. Uh, email me back and let me know what you think. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Joe. Yep, absolutely. Thank you for having me. No problem. Stay tuned and we'll be right back with the University Report.